Hey guys, Lucas Damasio here at Old Haunt Recording Studio. What I'm going to be talking about for the first video in this series officially is a pedal that I think everybody should check out. It's called the Strymon Timeline. Now, Strymon has a bit of a reputation for creating really high-end boutique digital effects. I believe when they were first marketed, they were kind of like trying to take a stab at all the analog effects that are out there and say, hey, look, we've made digital effects that are just as good as your analog ones. I'd argue that the timeline is probably better than any analog delay pedal. The reason why I say that is because of the sheer amount of controls you have on this thing. You have 200 presets. It's already loaded with 200, but you can tweak them to your heart's content. And there's multiple different delay effects in here. Uh, you have everything from lo-fi, filter, a, a tremolo delay, a swell, digital, uh, a debucket delay or a pattern delay and, and, and a few other options. And you have full control over, you know, every, pretty much every value you can think about, um, including time, repeats, the mix, and a well, as well as other kind of fine-tuned controls. Things like chorus, flanger, phaser are all time-based effects. If you think about it, all you're doing is you're moving the waveform a bit to manipulate the tone and the effect quality of the sound. So with this, you can actually create phaser, flange, and chorus, all with a delay pedal. I use this delay pedal quite a bit on the new album, especially on I Got A Letter. I used it specifically for the lead guitars as well as the cleans. I'm gonna show you what those sound like. I messed around with some presets that are on here and created my own for the cleans. I use this on I Got A Letter a lot. I actually use this a lot on almost every song, but in I Got A Letter, I use it for the clean guitars as well as the melodic leads. And I used two different presets and messed around with the timing. As I said, you can get an exact timing down to the millisecond with this. And I figured out kind of timing, rhythmic things and tonal things that mesh really well together with this pedal in order to create something that sounded really massive and really unique. The input and output of the Strymon timeline is pretty interesting. It has a left in, right in, left out, right out. The idea for that is if you're using a stereo input or output configuration. It also has a switch which changes your stereo in out into a feedback loop. This is useful if you're using the sends and returns in the back of your amp. It also has a slot for a expression pedal, and you can use that to control different aspects of the Strymon timeline. It also has a MIDI in and out, which can be used in conjunction with something like Pro Tools or anything feeding at MIDI, and you can use it to trigger different patches or different aspects of patches. The front end of the Strymon timeline has a ton of features. There's a bunch of different delays that it can model. It can even act as a looper. I'd recommend reading through the manual and experimenting with it in order to get the tone you're looking for. However, there's 200 presets already loaded into it, so you might be able to just tweak something and work from there. 
Those are my thoughts on the Strymon timeline. Hit the notification bell to stay in the loop as well as the subscription button in order to be notified whenever we drop another video. This is Lucas signing off. I will see you really soon in the next video.